All right, this is grade three, module one, lesson 10, where we are going to continue modeling the distributive property. And go ahead and use that word with your third graders. They can handle it. And we're going to model the distributive property using arrays to make a big problem like 8 times 3 into a smaller problem like 4 times 3 plus another 4 times 3. And this is going to be how we build fluency and how we help kids understand how to find their answer if they can't immediately recall it from memory. So as an example, before we move on, we see this array, and you can see that it's a 7 times 3 array, because we have 7 rows of 3. Now, uh, that may not be immediately recalled by the kids, so what we want to do is give them a skill for how to take that big array and break it into, using the distributive property, into two smaller arrays. For example, this right here. I could take that 7 by 3 and turn it into a 5 by 3, that's this section up here, plus a 2 by 3, and that's this section down here. And that way, students might say, oh, that's 15 plus 6, which is 21, therefore 7 times 3 is 21. So that's where we're leading kids towards in this lesson. And as an example, we're given an 8 by 2, or 8 times 2. And the array right here is broken up for us. And so we're going to be filling in the blanks. And we have up here, this section right here is 4 rows of 2, which is 8. And then down here, we have another 4 rows of 2, which is 8. And students will either have these memorized, or they'll use skip counting, or they will simply count every single little heart. And then, down below, 4 times 2 plus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 8. So that means 8 times 2 is equal to 16. And that's the idea of where we want kids to be going. So here, Adriana is organizing her books on shelves, and she puts three books in each row. So our, we know that our array is going to have three books going across in each row. And down here, it says that in this top array, we have 15 books total. So that tells us that we know we are supposed to have five rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. So there is our five rows of three. And we know down here, this says that she has three books total. And we know there's supposed to be three books in each row. So that means there's just one row. And so technically speaking, we could say that five times three plus one times three and that equals, uh, let's see, there we go, and that equals 15 plus 3, which equals 18. Uh, 18. Now another way to do it is to call this 6 times 3, because we can see that this is really an array of 6 rows of 3. And that is Lesson 10, super important where we're really getting the kids familiar with the distributive property.